Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Gray BTC, and you're watching Crypto Hustle. And today we have a little bit of a different video. I mean, I'm happy that crypto is now pumping back up, Bitcoin going up. And based on what we said a couple of days ago, that hey, guys, like I said, the dip is here to buy, is here for us to buy. So if you have been buying on all my calls, you should be doing well right now. The metaverse coins are doing well, they're coming back up. And I can tell you, the metaverse market, guys, um, that category itself still has to go about 5 to 10x before we can call the market over. So the altcoin season is not here, uh, it's not even here yet, okay? But that's not really the reason I'm making this video, guys. The, the reason for, for this video today was I was at the, uh, at the gym and then when I walked out of there, there's a guy from a restaurant who ran up to me like, hey man, how are you doing? I'm like, yeah, bro, all, all good. Seems like he, he's at work, he's working at a restaurant. And shout out to you, by the way, if you're watching this video. Then he says, well, man, because I met this guy before at the same place, like a few months ago. Then he's like, yeah, man, I got started with the crypto thing. But now, man, I really just want to want to quit my job uh, and really get on the trading. And then, you know, uh, I want to, um, you know, the, the life that I lived, I don't want my, my, my son to live this to live the same life and things are hard. So, I was like, OK, that's really coming from a good place, man. Uh, this guy. He's trying to change his life and he knows that crypto, um, you know, there is something. So when I met him, you know, Bitcoin wasn't that high or crypto wasn't really pumping. It was like, a, I think during when we had the, the little crash a little bit. So I was like, yeah, this brother is, is, is really, he knows that the world is not fair uh, in the system. So he's trying to find his way out. And then today he told me, well, you know, I actually, um, I didn't buy in because money has been a problem. You know, so I'm like, okay, bro, I understand. It's hard out there. Um, but, you know, he only had like $5 of Bitcoin in his, um, uh, in his Coinbase wallet. He had a Luno account and then the Luno account, I think um, he lost the phone number and things like that. So that inspired me guys to make this video. Okay. So he was saying, well, what is the, what is this uh, success secret to crypto? So I was like, okay. Man, I should actually just make a video about this and share it to others out there who might need this information, right? Because I know that people are starting off with crypto, um, you know, with a different level of capital. When I was starting off, my capital was what? $100, $200. I didn't have any money as well. So I understand it. So in this video, I'm going to share that, guys. So if, you're, if you have maybe a, you have a couple hundred thousand dollars, maybe this is not the video for you, you know, um, but I'm speaking to the guys who, who are um, on the ground at the bottom where I was a few years ago. Uh, and at least I can talk about my experience and what I did. Guys, the number one secret is that you have to, uh, to unplug yourself from the system itself and the mindset of the system. Because the traditional system tells you that, hey, you need to do this and do that, build a credit score, and then you can, uh, you're qualified for a loan. And you see, it's already, just from the get-go, it's terrible. It's a terrible model of um, putting you in debt, and then you have to pay them forever. You can't build wealth like that. You literally are a pig or a horse to the system. So number one, you want to unplug yourself from that system. Um, and you want to become independent and Bitcoin can help you with that. So this guy was talking about trading. He was like, I want to trade. So I was like, no, man, you don't have to worry about trading at all. Your job is to build a Bitcoin position. How do you do that? Simply with every little dime that you collect. Right now, start saving a portion of, of it into Bitcoin, right? Um, I, I know there are so many coins out there that sounds really interesting. But if you're really at the beginning, you want to play it safe. At the same time, you want to take risk. And the, the safety is that if you start with Bitcoin, you know, that can go down to by 100, 100%, but we know that it will bounce back, okay? And then you can also take risk, obviously, in other altcoins and stuff. The reason you can take risk, and you should, is because you only have upside. So if you're the guy with only $50 and you throw it into Shiba Inu or something like that, well, it's either you lose that $50, it's not the end of your life, but you also have the upside of massive gains that could really change your life. But first, you want to get the fundamentals right. Just get into the discipline of building a Bitcoin position. Every month, you buy BTC. My story, what I did, guys, was that 
I went, once I understood, because I started with buying Bitcoin on, on its own, I wasn't buying everything else because when I was getting into crypto, it wasn't a bull market where oh, today there's the altcoin pumping and the other one pumping. It was really a boring market. I was fascinated by the, 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 the uh, sort of the, the infrastructure of uh, the blockchain and where how Bitcoin is built. And I was just buying Bitcoin and then um, I ended up now selling everything that I had. I sold my car, I sold some of my clothes, I had a bunch of shoes, I sold all of them. Then I moved out of my apartment. This was really a conscious decision, by the way. I was like, okay, in the next three to four years, I'm gonna live like a broke, where I was broke anyway. But I was like, I'm gonna leave a cheapskate, no fancy dinners and dates anymore, I couldn't afford them. And other people around me couldn't understand, what is this guy doing? Sold everything moved from a two-bedroom apartment which i used to share with someone else uh, but it was kind of nice i moved into a house where other people lived just so that i can save on rent then that brought down my rental cost to like by 50 percent and then all the money that i was paying to the other rent i was really pumping it into bitcoin you know so look some of you you might be you might really want to build wealth and um you want to get out of the position that you're in and you have these fancy watches, some useless shoes and clothes that you don't even need. If I were you, man, I would get rid of all that garbage and really put it into crypto. At least because even if it was a bad coin, to be honest, you still have an upside. But if you're having like some $5,000 uh, watches or even if it's if a, a $500 watch, I would really get rid of it. Buy Cardano. Like you saw my Cardano story where I put $600 into Cardano, it turned into 29000 within two years. So there are things like that. Right now, so many new projects are just getting started, which means you, for you, becoming a millionaire is almost guaranteed. You literally just have to be uh, now choose the right projects. Like the, you're literally in the moment where the metaverse is being born. Uh, people talk about mana, decentral land, and this and that. Look, I bought mana three years ago. Okay, and it made me so much money right now, right? And that right now there are projects that you can get in three years from now, two, three years from now, they're going to explode. But the secret sauce, the, the most important thing about crypto success and how you can be successful in it, from my experience, is that you have to learn that when you, I think, how can I phrase this? Yeah, the, you have to stay in the market longer. The longer you stay, the more successful you become. So in, when I was getting into crypto, other people were also getting into it. And then later on in 2017, it boomed. So many of my friends even got into crypto. Guess what? We, we, we went into a, a bear market for two to three years. What they did, now they're not even in crypto anymore. They disappeared. They lost interest. Because they weren't, they weren't really genuinely interested in what crypto, the concept of it, what, it's, what it can do, uh, and what they could also do to contribute to it. They were just looking at their mentality that was fiat mentality. I want to put this in and get my $20 out. So when that didn't work, they just lost interest. And then now they look at the, oh, I used to have this coin. Oh, I saw this coin when it was $2. Now it's $700. I'm like, yeah, that's just what happens. So make sure you stay long. When you buying Bitcoin right now, you have to think that you want to be in crypto for a long, long time. I'm just lucky that in my journey, things happen so quickly, you know. But when I was buying Bitcoin, man, I was thinking 10 years from now. I was like, you know, in 10 years, man, I'll be fine. I won't, I'll never have to worry about rent again. Uh, and then my life will be a little bit better. I can take care of myself and stuff. Now, I, tra I, I travel the world, you know, I live wherever I want. Uh, I don't really have a home, a home anymore, you know. This is things that crypto has managed to afford for me. And where does that money come from? DeFi. These are si simply yield of my crypto. Takes me back to the last point of this video. Never sell your Bitcoin, okay? You look at all the crypto elite, Roger Ver, um, uh, uh, who, who is this, this other guy? Even Satoshi himself. His 1 million Bitcoins that he minted for himself, he, he mined for himself at the beginning, they're still there, they've never moved. You look at Roger Ver, you listen to my song, all the people that I mentioned in, in, the, in that video, even CZ, CZ who already told you what you need to focus on. Just accumulate Bitcoin and never sell it. And they are, oh, but what if I want to sell the Bitcoin and buy property? I'm like, yo, 
you're looking at this in the, in the wrong way, man. You don't want to, you want to be in this asset. The way you're going to diversify is by leveraging the Bitcoin to now get all the other stuff. Because over time, your Bitcoin is just going to get more expensive, which means property, cars, farms, whatever you want will only get cheaper to you. <laughs> so like even if you imagine if I started with one Bitcoin a few years ago, it couldn't buy me anything. Now, one Bitcoin can actually buy me something, it can buy me two cars, it can buy me some properties in different in certain countries, um, it, it can buy me, I can invest in a startup with it, you know. Um, so you just have to think of it that way. You don't want to, you don't want to think like, oh, I want to put in Bitcoin and then make money and then I'll take it out and go, go, go and buy some, some, some whatever you want to buy. Stay in for the long haul. Just look at Roger Vera, guys. That guy, he started, he bought Bitcoin.com, the website, the, the domain name, right? Now he's one of the richest people in crypto, billionaire. You look at all these guys, they're still in it today. If they were thinking that I just want to go into Bitcoin and then quickly flip my money, then they would have sold a long time ago and we wouldn't even know about them, right? But all the crypto elites that you know right now, guys, they have a lot of Bitcoin. So that's all I can say, guys. You want to be successful in crypto, put in the work. And another bonus point is build. This is an, an open network uh, where it doesn't have too much regulation just yet. The, the, the odd guys haven't really entered the market in the government and the politicians. They don't understand it yet. So that is your advantage. It's not a bad thing that these regulators don't understand anything because when they come in, they will listen to the odd money, the elites, the elite elite guys, they will close all the little loopholes and the, all the holes that we, we have for us to create opportunity for ourselves. Imagine, a good example is I own a university. It's a worldwide university, number one in the world. It's a crypto university, cryptouniversity.network. I built this university. Uh, I didn't have to ask for permission from anyone. Um, if it was a normal university, they would have said, oh, you know, you have to get a financial license and this and that and all that. But I've managed to build the, that, that university in Africa, but it's used by the rest of the world. So my point being, this is an open market. You can literally build, you can build a bank, you can build different protocols, you can create your own games, you can tokenize real estate and different assets, you know, whatever you can put your mind into. Just think of it bigger. It's larger than just trading coins. All right. So look, man, maybe I'm ranting, but I just hope this video will help someone out there. That, that's actually my intention. That's why I made it. Uh, you guys, let me know what you think. Uh, what's your strategy to get yourself out of the system, to unplug yourself? For me, it's taking your money out of the banks and all these guys first, putting it into Bitcoin in an ecosystem where you can control it. Okay? Uh, let me know in the comments. Uh, leave a comment. Uh, leave a like. Share the video. Subscribe, of course. And um, um, I will see you guys uh, on the live streams, of course. Just check out the beautiful view. I'm in Africa, the motherland here. I'm in South Africa to be specific right now. God, just look at how beautiful this is. All right. Just a few years ago, I used to, I, I was working in these areas, cutting grass for people who used to live in homes like this. Now I'm in this home. That's the power of Bitcoin, you know. So I'm not a financial advisor, by the way. So I'm not telling you what to do with your money. I'm really just, uh, sh this is for informational purposes only and sharing my story. I hope it inspired, it inspired someone out there and two, three years uh, from now, you know, your life is going to completely change as well. And I don't really see any other market or domain in, out in the world that can do that for you that quickly. All right, guys, love you so much. I'll see you on the moon as always. Peace.